Yay! Chicken feet. Have you been to our Chinatown? Yeah. No, I went there once when I was a baby. I'm pretty sure I have been to Chinatown. Today we'll be trying food from Chinatown International District. Yay! That, <laughs> that's really exciting. What's international mean, Melody? I do not know. I'm only in the second grade. What do you think is going to Chinatown? Food from China? Yeah, but ours is so cool that we have food from a lot of different countries. Whoa. Kind. Let's find out. I heard a lot of things going on the table, but I didn't expect this. I have to do the tradition. Hello. I don't like these because they look like chicken hams or something, chicken feet or something. They're so delicious. You like chicken feet? Mm hmm. Where's the place you go get chicken feet? My mom cooks it. Oh, you're so lucky. I'm not sure at all what this is. Kind of tastes like um, a really soft version of fried chicken. Mmm, it's really good. Oh, there's a baby shrimp. Dim sum is a Chinese breakfast or brunch. Oh, it's dim sum. I didn't know that. Oh. Are these kind of foods something you'd enjoy in the morning? This bread's very good. For me, these two are more of dinner foods. Have you ever gone out to eat dim sum? Yeah. So it's closed and then they bring it over and then they open it and then it just steams out. We have so much food, so we're gonna move on to the next one. No. This looks like popcorn chicken. This is a classic Japanese kind of comfort food called karaage. <gasps> My parents make karaage. Yummy. You're getting to try it today because we actually have a Japan town. And that's a component to our international district. Oh wait, I thought we just, wait, we have a Japan town? I feel like China is getting too much credit for this town. Let's move on before I eat it all. I've definitely seen um, these before. My mom's friend who does her eyelashes, uh, she usually makes this for me and it's really nice of her. It's specifically from Vietnam. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think she's from that one. Oh, it's a lettuce wrap? So there's some lettuce there, there's some herbs. Parsley. I love says with parsley. This sweet chili sauce. It's like a little boat. Mmm. I'm sorry, it's good. We have a place called Little Saigon, and it's part of our Chinatown International District. Oh. Did you know that? No. I like leggings. Yeah. That looks like bugs. <laughs> They're bugs, aren't they? Are you sure? Take a closer look. What are they? Oh, noodles. Mmm, yummy. Ungar. Is it like a corn dog wrap, sweet, a sweet potato corn dog wrap? Oh. Wait, is this squid or octopus ink? Squid ink. Wow. Does this have gluten in it? Are you gluten intolerant? No, just wondering. <laughs> Does it remind you of anything familiar? Korean shows. It looks like really, really good when I see it on TV. Guess where this dish is from. Oh, heck no. Did I just guess it right? This rice dog is from the same country as BTS. Korea? That explains the noodles. Think of corn dogs more like here, like where we live. I didn't think of corn dogs that were there. Love you. Oh, I think this is for dessert. Made with coconut. This is a special kind of coconut pie. What makes it so special? It's actually made with young coconut. It's in a Filipino food style like ube. This 
is actually from the Philippines. Have you ever heard of buko? Oh yes, buko. Buko. Mm -hmm. I'd never seen it like this form. It's a very traditional Philippine dish. Oh, I'm Filipino, yay. One of my sister's friends is Filipino. I need to tell her about it cause she goes, cause she go and buy it. Our Chinatown actually used to have a little Manila. <gasps> but it doesn't anymore? But there is a presence of a Filipino bakery. I'm gonna ask my mom to take me there. I feel like it's just most of Asia is in this Chinatown district. It's a very typical and all-time favorite pasalubong. Have you ever heard that word before, Celine? No. Mommy, have you heard that? What does it mean? So pasalubong is a gift for family member or friend that you bring back when you're returning from a trip. What's something that you really enjoy so much, you would want to share that? I would share mac and cheese because I really like mac and cheese. <laughs> I would bring cheese as my special gift. Would it be stale? What did you learn about Chinatown today? It's not just like Chinese food, it's any kind of food. Like international food, any kind of food. What's special about your Chinatown? Comment down below. Bye! Bye.